Zoot suits emerged as a trend in the 1930s. The term described men's suits with long, loose coats with wide shoulders and large lapels. Zoot suit pants were high-waisted, draped, and tapered at the ankles. So-called zoot suiters sometimes top the look off with thick-soled shoes, long watch chains, and wide-brimmed hats. The origins of the zoot suit are disputed. They first became popular in Harlem, the African-American cultural hub of New York City in the mid-1930s, and spread to other African-American communities by 1940, together with jitterbug music. By the same time, they also appeared as a fad among young Mexican-Americans and Filipino-Americans. The extreme style continued to spread and was adopted by young American adults of other backgrounds. Movies, news stories, and music popularized the style. Zoot suits took strong root in some urban Mexican-American communities. Mexican-American teenage boys and young men who wore zoot suits were referred to as pachucos. Pachucas were Mexican-American teenage girls and young women who associated with pachucos and wore zoot suits of their own distinct styles, typically knee-grazing skirts, sweaters, and long coats. Some pachucos and pachucas formed neighborhood gangs, which functioned largely as social groups but occasionally committed crimes, most of them petty. By World War II, a majority of the Mexican-American community in Los Angeles were second-generation Americans. That is, most were children of Mexican refugees and immigrants. They commonly faced poverty, as well as discrimination in jobs, policing, education, and even accessing some public facilities, like restaurants, swimming pools, parks, certain sections of theaters, as well as some schools. During World War II, the War Production Board was a federal agency created to determine what products American industries would manufacture for the war effort. In their effort to conserve materials for the war, they rationed textiles, food, shoes, metal, paper, rubber, and gasoline. In October 1942, they issued restrictions targeting zoot suits by banning high-rise trousers and those loose at the knee, as well as long coats. The order was largely ineffective, but drew further interest in the zoot suit. During the ban, popular media portrayed zoot suits as unpatriotic and wasteful. On June 3, 1943, 50 sailors from a nearby naval base searched for Mexican-American zoot suitors in the nightclubs and theaters of downtown Los Angeles. The sailors beat the zoot suitors, tore their clothes, and stripped them to their underwear. The following day, more servicemen traveled to Watts, a predominantly African-American community, and East Los Angeles, an area with a large Mexican-American community, where they beat zoot suitors. In the following days, mobs of Anglo servicemen and civilians attacked mostly Mexican-American youths, many who were not wearing zoot suits, as well as African-Americans and Filipinos. Many Mexican-Americans tried to avoid the confrontations while others fought back. After a few nights of violence, the Los Angeles police arrested dozens of Mexican and African-American youths, but only two servicemen. Not until June 8th, when the military authorities prohibited servicemen from visiting Los Angeles, did the violence cease. At least 94 civilians and 18 servicemen were seriously injured, but no one died. A few days later, a caravan of zoot suitors went downtown flying white flags and American flags, visited the police station, and donated blood to the Red Cross. In some ways, the zoot suit riots were unique. No other riots in U.S. history have been named for style of dress. Despite the involvement of thousands over several nights and injuries to scores of people, no one was killed, unlike the riots that occurred in Detroit and Harlem the same summer. While factors that contributed to the riots, a booming wartime economy, mass migrations from the Midwest and South, and the zoot suit trend were present in many parts of the country, the zoot suit riots occurred in just one place and time, June 1943 in Los Angeles. Since the riots outbreak, their causes have been debated. <laughs>